it's time to talk about speed. Cheap speed. Before we talk about speed, let's just have a talk about this cool chassis design. And this is the 1603, or is it the 1604? I can't remember, from SG, but uh, this is my drifter. If you're wondering what they are, they are titanium screws. I was trying to make some drift tires a little while back with titanium screws. They kind of work, but I need, a, I need to do a bit more to that. But anyway, check this out. So armor skins, the name suggests it's just for armor, but they've started doing some little vinyl skins for these uh, little, oh, my wheels falling off, <laughs> these little models. I think they're also doing some for the WL Toys as well, so look out for them. I'll leave a link in the description. There's the one on my limit list. How cool does that look? Smoke it like you stole it. Awesome designs. I love it when someone comes out with like a unique uh, thing, and I've, and I've definitely not seen chassis skins before, so uh, yeah, awesome. Go check them out, link in the description, right. So, SG1603, how far? So, so you may have seen my previous video where I made this into brushless. We've got 60 kilometers an hour out of it using this Remo Hobby. I think it's, I want to say 3,500. I couldn't remember on the video I made it either. But anyway, with that motor, a cheap 60 amp ESC, um, 1,800 milliamp hour nanotech, uh, Turnergy nanotech uh, LiPo, 60 kilometers an hour, which is about 37. Now, RC Clan, if you go and check out his channel, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. He put a little challenge out. I think the challenge was set for me uh, and the RC Kiwis. I'm sure he also challenged uh, Kevin Talbot as well um, to see if we could get these to 100 mile an hour. Now, I'm not sure they're going to get to 100, but I like a good challenge, especially when it involves speed. So I went out today, I've changed the wheels, I've changed the motor. Um, I've now got a 6,080 kV uh, race star. It's a 2440 uh, motor, so the same as the uh, Remo Hobby one, but it's 6,080 kV. Same 3S light, same 3S lipo, same ESC. All I've done is change the wheels over. These are off of the little 116 Remo Hobby uh, Porsche. Uh, fit straight on the tires just they're just a little bit better they're glued um, well apart from that one more to see of that on the video uh, took the opportunity of having a dry day to take it out for a run to see how close I could get to that 100 mile an hour now Phil from RC Clan he's got 42 I think the RC Kiwis their video will be up theirs will be up today I saw a post today saying I'm sure it's today or tomorrow um, so by the time you've seen this video, theirs will already be up. I'll leave a link to that in the description and I'll leave a link to um, RC Clans. If you've got one of these, you are free to uh, enter into this. Just a bit of fun, nothing nothing to get out of it other than uh, other than gloating rights to have the fastest. But this needs more work as you'll see on the video. I'm not going to spoil anything. And I've given you a little bonus at the end of the video. We've got the 124019 out from WL Toys. I was doing a bit of extra testing with this, so uh, I took it out and I stuck it in this video because it wasn't really, I wasn't going to record it anyway, but I thought as we're doing a speed run video, you might appreciate a bit more testing of this. There was a 20 mile an hour crosswind, I'm making my excuses now, uh, and as you'll see, I had a little bit of an issue with the servo, um, but this thing will be back. We are going to go faster. I'm not sure, I'm still not sure, going to get 100 mile an hour, but. Doesn't matter, I'm having fun trying. Enjoy the video. It is, we got about a 20 mile an hour um, side wind today. So it's coming in and going in that direction. Hopefully we can counter that. Although there's no stability on this. <laughs> As it turns out, I've got an issue with the servo. Oh, God. Right, this isn't gonna go well, but I'm just gonna go for it. 
wow, it's very windy. <laughs> uh, straight over. Why did that roll so quick? I was going really slow. Oh, this isn't going to work. This is definitely not going to work. I can't keep it straight. It's just rolling so easy. Why is it rolling so easy? It's hardly going at all. Oh, and I just popped a tyre. Darn it. Well, that was a fail. Let's see what we got anyway. <laughs> uh, 43 mile an hour, and that was uh, half throttle. Do I risk it with a dodgy tyre? Let's see if we can get a bit more than 43. Just gonna nail it, I think. Let's just nail it, see what happens. I know, I don't like it. Come on. Come on. Speed, 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 power. I need power. More power. Flat out, go, 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 go. Ah. That wheel's definitely had it now. <laughs> There goes the foam. Let's catch it, quick. Gotcha. Right, let's see what we got. Let's say 49. It did roll quite a few times, but in my experience, it doesn't really make a massive difference um, to the GPS, especially because it's rolling over in that direction. It doesn't really accelerate it. But So I'll take 49 as the unofficial speed, and then we'll come back after I've rebuilt it. It's definitely 60 mile an hour in this, I think, definitely. So while we're here, I might as well treat you to a little bit of testing of the WO Toys um, 124019. Uh, just doing a little bit of testing today with it. Someone said to me that, someone in the comments, said to remove the sensor lead. Now, last time I had this out, um, I had issues with it cutting out. So we're going to try it now without that sensor lead on. Just got to get it straight first. Oh, rain's coming. Right, let's get this done before the rain comes. Um, yeah, someone said take the sensor lead out and it has stopped cutting out. So we're going to try it. Now I've got 85 last time. Battery's not full. I gave it a quick burst charge before we came out. Like I've said, 20 mile an hour side wind. Go steady. No, it still doesn't feel as fast. It doesn't feel like 85 anyway. It's still rapid though. It amazes me how planted it is, so no stability on this, but it just it's just so so solid. Get that battery warm.
Oh, so windy, so, so windy. 68, yeah, it's uh, not as fast with that sensor lead off. Oh, I know what it might be. I turned the timing right up, didn't I? That might have slowed it down. Right, let's bring it in anyway. So 76, that's not the 85 we got last time. Definitely something that ESC is not liking it. So I think for the next run, I'm gonna change the motor. I've got a new motor and I think I'm gonna fire another ESC in there. See if we can push for that 100.